All right, hello, beautiful people. We are going to hopefully settle this and hopefully help other people out because I think this is a great strategy for the off season. And I'm gonna do build a live ad here around custom audiences of old leads from our data from a database of a client that I have. Um, and I'll, first I wanna explain something to you. Saved audiences, custom audiences, lookalike audiences are totally different. Saved audiences are interests and age groups and things within Facebook's platform. So previously we could target age groups, uh, we could target likely to move, we could target zip codes, and once you set up a set of parameters, you could save that in Facebook and call, and it was called a saved audience. Custom audiences are completely different. Custom audiences are all things built using your intellectual property, your website, your Facebook page, your videos, your database. Now, you still cannot discriminate, and some ways people may be doing that are um, downloading lists from property tax information and only targeting certain zip codes or addresses. So if you're retargeting people within your database or old leads, like I'm going to do here, I would highly suggest creating a CSV of just name, phone, and email, and just leave out the address to leave out any, <clears throat> excuse me, potential possibility that Facebook may think you're discriminating. Uh, and again, I'm going to I totally understand that old custom audiences may be grayed out under the new housing rules. Old saved audiences are going to be grayed out under the old housing rules. And certainly old lookalike audiences are all going to be gone. But if you set up your ad properly and select housing in the beginning, Facebook will not allow you to do things that are against what the, their terms and conditions for the new special ad category. Uh, so I'm going to go through how I'm doing this. I'm going to try to do it in one take. So I may not have, uh, I, I may say a few ums and I may, you know, slip through my words a little bit, but bear with me here because I, I hope this will help people out. First thing we need to do is we need to be in the ads audiences area. And this is what my ads manager looks like. I manage a bunch of different accounts, so it may look a little different than yours, but let's find this screen that says audiences. And we're gonna create an audience. And as you can see, all three types of audiences is here. Again, saved audiences are uh, interests and things within Facebook's platform. Lookalike audiences are totally not okay. Custom audiences still okay. So I'm gonna click custom audience. And again, these are all your sources that you can create custom audiences from, apps, vit people watch your videos. Uh, I did a video for EAP, which is on their YouTube channel, about two custom audiences that you should always be marketing to. And one of them are people who engage with your Facebook page, and another one are people who have been to your Easy Agent Pro or website, if you have another website. So today, so that's, that's how you build the other one, website traffic. And you can actually do... People who have been to a certain page, people who have been to a collection of pages. These are all, again, custom audiences within our own intellectual property. So customer list, that's what we're going to do today. Uh, this file does not include LTV, lifetime customer lifetime value. i um, not going to go into that right now. Select the origin, origin of this upload. Meet, make sure you choose directly from customers because what happens is we used to be able to take our mortgage comp our mortgage partners list upload them and use them um, and i don't think that's okay anymore but let's just say directly from customers because these are all people who have opted into our stuff so they agreed to present to give us their information so make sure you choose directly from customers all right upload file this is just your normal process <clears throat> I'm gonna find it here in uh, my downloads, which I don't, here it is. All right, all leads 2018. So I create a CSV of first, first, or first name, last name, email, and telephone number. Do not, I would not add addresses in this just to avoid any potential issue with um, Facebook thinking that you're discriminating. Um, so we're going to say all leads oops, 2018. 
We're going to click next. And by the way, my list is about 600 people. So this is something that you have to do. Anybody who's ever worked with databases before, this is important. Um, so Facebook is just confirming that um, what the what our lists, <clears throat> excuse me, the columns of our lists. So that's first name. This is a last name, Facebook. You got to do this or it might not work. Um, first name, last name, email, phone number, Facebook is just making sure they got this right. And then any other column, just either don't upload it or don't include it. So upload and create. This is going to take a few minutes. 572 rows updated 100%. Uh, you can click create an ad here, but I'm going to go ahead and just say done because I kind of have this um, set up to get through this video a little quicker, hopefully. Um, I am going to click create an ad here. I probably could have just done it from the other screen. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an ad. Okay, so remarket to, whoops, 2018 all leads custom audience. All right, this is very important. And Facebook warned you here and they give you the option here. So special ad category. I'm creating an ad for the special ad category. This do not mess up and forget to select this in anything that you do. So um, we're, we're going to choose housing. And what this is going to do is, is Facebook's wizard is now not going to allow us to choose anything that's not OK. So this is going to gray out anything that we don't have options with. I'm going to set up my daily budget for 10 bucks. Bidding type auction, traffic. If you want to be more complex, you can set up conversions based on a thank you page on your Easy Agent Pro site. But uh, I'm just for simple purposes, I'm going to go with this. So save to draft. And all right. Here we are. All right, untitled ad set. I'm going to go here. And this, I think, is where a couple people were slipping up this morning. And all right, ad set name. Dream home to CA of all leads. OK, you name it however you want. Um, all right, here we go. Budget. I'm going to start it today. All right, audience. Okay. You saved audience. See, grayed out because we selected, um, we selected, uh, that we were housing options here that are available for other industries. Doesn't look like we have the choice. Oh, can we edit this? Oh yeah, we can, we can set up a radius. I don't want to set up a radius. I'm just going to do my custom audience. So again, create new audience, saved audience is grayed out. But here we are, custom audience is okay. And Facebook just gives us one little warning here. Make sure you're not discriminating. We're not. So custom audience, I'm going to try to find the one I just did. Was this it? All leads 2018 customer list. Again, these are, these are all my custom. All right, let's go to custom audiences. These are all my custom audiences that are, that, um, are okay to use. Engage with our page, all leads list opt-in. I did this yesterday. Um, I can't remember. What did I just name this one? All 2018. All right, here we go. So that was our list, right? I hope that was it. If it wasn't, it was the other one, but th this, this is enough to show you. So again, if we were doing something wrong, Facebook would, would not allow us to do it. So this is okay. Uh, our audience definition is unavailable. I'm going to go through here. Just do a quick couple checks. Again, can't can't edit age, can't edit gender anymore. We could target just Zillow interest group if we wanted to. We don't want to do that. Automatic placements. We're going to bid for link clicks, and I'm going to build the ad. And I want to show you a little trick. Some of you may know this, some of you may not. But if you if you I use this ad a lot, and I actually and again see Facebook's reminding us we're in the special housing category. I did. A uh, YouTube video on this. I think Easy Agent Pro named it "Remarketing for Home Buyers." 
So this is, I call this dream home alerts. And uh, I, I invite you to go ahead and copy this. It works. I literally have this ad shown to anybody who goes to our website or engages with our Facebook page. And I just run it all the time. And it's been running for a while. I have to go in and change the data because it is, it is kind of a, a semi-timely ad. So when you pull up a, uh, an old ad, every post has... Uh, a post number, you can just copy that number into your the building of your ad, and you don't actually have to build the ad anymore. Um, let me just see if make sure, see if I can find it here. I probably skipped it. Create an ad. Oh, use existing post. Sorry. Uh, again, one take here. So this is I'm going to a little bit. Must select an object. All right, so enter post ID. Big time saver here. Submit. So I just, again, grab the old post ID. And bam, it populates it here. Uh, and just to clarify, this is a regular Facebook page that has been out there for five, six, seven years. We have like, 2,500 followers. Uh, feel free to check it out if you like, because yesterday I was accused of it not being a real Facebook page. Uh, so, okay, that's it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and publish this. Again, if we were doing something wrong, Facebook would not allow us to do it. I'm going to hit publish. I probably should have double checked all the details one more time, but Okay, let me name, I didn't name this. I should have named it, but it didn't. And we're off. This will be in review after the same thing for 2017 leads. And it went through, worked fine. Uh, it was in review for about two hours and then um, it worked. So, okay, hopefully that clears things up. Um, one misnomer, one, one thing that will still happen is Facebook will still flag posts, they will still flag ads. Uh, sometimes there's no explanation and it's very difficult to get any of them on the phone, but you can, there is a place where you can um, ask them to review. And if, as long as you're using a legit database and you didn't buy it or um, it has addresses on it, you're, you're going to be fine. All right, guys, hopefully that clears us up. Thank you.